a compass on that boat is in extreme danger. Zoom in on that. <laughs> oh no. So a couple videos back, you guys saw we pulled the engine out of the Seabold Eagle as we start the restoration on that thing. And surprisingly, there were several people that, uh, well, they decided to cause a little controversy with our engine lifting tactics, or most, more so the materials or apparatuses, apparatuses, apparatus I, I don't know the plural of that. You got Anyways, it. some of you guys didn't like the strap that we were using to lift that uh, engine out of the Eagle. And you know, I get it, but we use that strap every day for lifting heavy things. That engine, probably about a thousand pounds, fully dressed with the manifolds and accessories on the front. That's well below the rating of that strap uh, that we use to pick that thing up. I figured the only thing to do would be, let's find a collection of, well, poor things that can be used as straps and pick up heavy things with said objects. So uh, today we're gonna be using a vast amount of materials to pick up some heavy stuff. So what we're gonna do is gonna be like a two phase competition. So phase one, we're gonna have a big block Chevrolet long block, fastened to an LS short block. That's gonna put us in the vicinity of, I would say, 800-ish pounds. If these pieces of equipment can pick that stuff up, they're gonna make it on to round two, where they pick up my 2022 Can-Am Maverick X3 XRS, which is about 2,000 pounds. Now, that's gonna be a real test there. So, yeah. uh, starting off with product number one, we've got your run-of-the-mill garden hose. So, uh, we've got these in order of what we think is gonna be the weakest moving on to the strongest. So this garden hose here, you know, it's seen better days. It's made out of rubber. I don't know, what is this, the diameter of this, five eighths? Uh, Not great. Yeah. Probably. Has an end on one, I don't know if that matters. No. That's gonna be what we think's the weakest. So, moving on, we've got this, uh, what kind of material would you say that is? Um, some sort of polymer, I'm not really sure, but. Bad material. Second. Bad material. So Second week. This uh, weakling looking strap. Then we've got this extension cord or what used to be an extension cord. I don't know. This is about uh, ooh, 16 gauge if I were to guess. Maybe 14. I don't know. Not too big. I think that's going to surprise us. That, that might do pretty well. We'll try it out. Yep. Then we've got your run of the mill serpentine belt right off your car. Now I personally have seen serpentine belts lift Quite a bit of heavy stuff. My dad's been doing that for a while. So I think that's gonna be, uh, I think that's gonna surprise a lot of people. I don't trust that one. Moving on, we've got an assortment of seat belts. So these are, uh, well, I don't know what, it says RJS harnesses on there, but there's also a buckle out of what appears to be from uh, 84 Olds Cutlass. So I don't really know about that, but we've got an assortment of seat belts. And then we've got these straps that we actually used to pick up that big block out of the eagle so uh, i'll save what these are actually rated for till the end because you guys will probably be pretty surprised at what they're actually rated for but uh yeah that's uh that's going to be the strong unit of this competition right and as a little bit of a skin in the game we're not just going to be you know lifting this stuff off the ground with your, you know, cherry picker, engine lift, no you way. know. We gotta go big, we gotta put some skin in the game. So, this stuff is all going to be attached to our fork truck, which has a 16 foot, uh, what is that? Extendable. Will that be vertic vertical? I always get those messed up. Vertical yeah, lifting vertical. capability. So, you say, oh, that's pretty high in the air, but I mean, you know, it's just gonna fall to the ground. That's no fun. We don't like that. no fun. So what are we going to do? We're going to lift these on top of a boat. These things are going to be dangling above a boat. Is the boat destined to go to the landfill anyways because it's trash? Maybe, but it's going to be over <laughs> a boat. Yeah, don't worry about that. So 
the, uh, the only thing left to do is go check out the big block, go mm -hmm. check out the LFs, mate them together, and then get to lifting. Yeah. <laughs> so the final part of this test is going to be lifting my Maverick X3 with flex tape, my man. So I saw a commercial the other day where this dude picked up a 500 pound safe with one of these things. So, and it did it with no problem. Like it wasn't even sweating. So I figured let's give her 2000 pounds, you know, do the math here, two safes, two pieces of tape. That's thousand pounds. Why not double it? See if it'll do it. So this will be wrapped around uh, the roll cage of my X3. We'll probably wrap it around the forks of the fork truck unless we come up with a better way to do it. That's mm -hmm. my preliminary thought. I'm going to really test this stuff out. This is 40 some, $47 worth of tape right here. So hopefully get my money's worth of it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, none of that stuff. I mean, I don't know how much those straps are, but we don't have 47 bucks invested in the rest of that stuff. No. So I've got high expectations for this stuff. We'll see how they do. All right, so we're outside. We've got our poop boat here. We've got our engine fixture set up over here. Come take a peek at how this is. So we've got the LS on top of the big block because, well, LSs are always on top compared to big block. Sorry, guys, just a fact. <laughs> Especially Stevie, if you're watching, you better be. We've got our chain up there. We've got our chain connecting the LS to the big block. And what we're going to be doing the most consistent way, I feel, is we're going to leave that upper chain on the LS and then we're going to use our text fix or our test fixtures wrapped around the chain and then also wrapped around the fork. Is it the best way to do it? I don't know. Is that the way we're going to do it? Yes. So in between rounds, we're going to take the engines, we're going to set them in the boat to swap out the fixtures and then we're going to pick them back up. For consistency's sake, I think that they need to survive 30 seconds of lifting after each round. Is it going to be an exact number? Probably not. I'll have uh, someone get their phone out and probably time it. I can be the timer. Nice timing app. Oh, That'll yeah. take care of that, no problem. And then if it survives, it moves on to picking up the X3. I think I'm gonna go get that and just drive that over here <laughs> just uh, you know, for dramatic effect. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna start picking stuff up. I'm really excited for this. Super loud Harley in the background. Yeah, thanks, bud. He toned it down as he drove by. Appreciate that. And he got back on it after. Well, it's a good American there. Appreciate that. So anyways, let's get on with chlorophyll. Let's do it. Round two is where the fun's gonna happen. I'm excited for that. All right, set those suckers in there. First up, garden hose. So. I personally think garden hose, as soon as this thing comes off the ground, breaking. I don't think there's any chance, so. So are we doing one spool, or are we going around twice, or how well, are we gonna do it with the garden hose? So, again, don't try any of this at home. In my opinion, it's what we have to work with, so we can do it however we want. We can wrap it around 10 times if we have to. It's just, you know, to prove a point okay. of whether or not you can lift it with a garden hose or not, you know? That's so. fair. This is a clean unit in here. What a keeper. Yeah, come back a little bit. <laughs> this thing's probably gonna wheelie, I would assume. No way. Yeah, I didn't think about that. All right, set her down. Oh no. Pick her back up, that's what the wood's for. Back a little bit. Backwards? Yeah. <laughs> and this is round one. This is a learning experience here. Yeah, we'll get it down. Is that what the wood's for? Yeah, oh, dude. I, I must These guys miss, are amateurs. I, I missed that in the safety meeting. All right, pick it up. Dude, my beautifully rigged. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, try that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so what should we do? Just wrap this a bunch of times and coil it up? 
Yeah, you gotta tie a good knot in her though. Dude, you look good in that sucker. Dude, is there bees in here? No way. This is a pro fixture here, guys. I don't know how you guys got that so wrapped up already. I don't know a lot of things, my man. Jeez. We'll bucket man. that under that. Oh boy. <laughs> Brutal. You know, personally, I don't know if you had a chain, why you would actually be using the garden hose, but I mean, that's neither here nor there. We're just uh, we're just testing the strength. Mm-hmm. Well, here we are, single knot. We're going for it. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. That's strong. I need to get out of here fast once this thing starts going up. So John's going to be watching the timer yep. on the phone, and uh, like I said, 30 seconds. If it passes 30 seconds without breaking, Onto that thing right there. I like that. Get out of there, Slick. How long are you saying it holds for? I'm saying as soon as it comes off the ground, it's done. Oof. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. That knot better hold. That knot's got it, dude. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. It's off. What are we at for time already? We no, are it's at... not off, is it? No, no. Oh, dude, you got to go forward. He's going to end up picking the whole boat up. You're caught is there, Chief. Oh, <laughs> okay, time starts now. Go. Pick her up. Raise that big unit up. Oh man. Approaching 20 seconds now. Give her a little bounce there, Scotty. Oh, we're maxed out. I'm not doing that, dude. Oh, right, how about like that? That's real life simulation of a fork truck driver, so. I'd have to say this one passes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, this one, no big deal. All right, let her down. On to round two for the garden Round hose. two. No big deal. Good to know we can use garden hose next time we can pull the motor. Exactly. Stand right under her. Oh. Man. Item two, the sketchy rope. I'll be honest with you, I've got negative confidence in the sketchy rope. Yeah, that's some old stuff. Yeah, she's seen better days, not gonna lie. Dude, that's a good unit right there. Garden hose is the people's champ. One second you're washing your car, the next second you're picking it up off the ground. Think about that. I don't recommend doing that though. Dude, we just proved it. This is okay, all CGI. Okay. We're not. We're not actually here proving anything. <laughs> My name is not Rick. This is not John Scott. Nope. Well, I feel Dude, like that's too many coils. That's too many coils. I said we work with what we got, man. I mean, all of them are going to be picking up your side by side. Yeah, we'll see about that. Scott has to tie these because he's the, he started tying the knots. Rope master. Rope master. <laughs> Dude, might be taking the wrong way. We're all rigged up, ready to go on the rope. Yeah, this is round two. We're calling this sketchy rope. So we had garden hose, no problem. Sketchy rope. Let's do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is not a very even pickup, but we'll take it, I suppose. Ten seconds. You got to go higher, my man.
That's it. Pretty close. Oh, look at there's a bee. Okay, give her give her a couple shakes. Wow. Have to say that I'm passes say, I'm too. I'm saying sketchy rope's good. Yeah. Yep. Moving on up. Extension cord definitely passing. Both of those passed. I think we're looking good. You'd think, but we've been wrong before in this test. Yeah, I mean, True. garden hose, pff, still. Even sketchy rope, I mean, for me, sketchy rope was close competition to be number one weakest thing, but turns out, hmm. don't actually matter. Right. But hey, that's what it's all about. What that is, I don't know, but that's what it's all about. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Round two is going to be exciting. Extension cord. Let's see here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let her go. I don't know about that quantity of loops, but. Well, she's doing it. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm starting the time now, they're up. Timer's been started. Oh, I saw a break. I don't know if it can handle the bounces on this one. You gotta give her the bounces, it's part of the test. <laughs> oh boy. Give her a couple more. Why don't you send her all the way up once? All right. Well, I think I, it passed. I, I have to say it passed. It was close it to failure, but it, she passed. She did show signs of fatigue though. I'll, I'll say that. She was pretty close to failure. All right, yeah, extension cord definitely took an L. This has held up the worst out of anything we've tested so far. I had the most faith in that, honestly. Yeah, very, very surprising. <laughs> you know, some of you guys are probably saying this isn't uh, fair test, you know, because round two, it's going to be wrapped around differently and all that stuff. I mean, it's like, you know, playing the Detroit Lions in week one and then having to play the Patriots in week two. Like, it's a whole different game. Like, you got to bring your A game. You know, and sometimes the Lions beat up on you, but still, week two is coming, man. It's just how it is. A great analogy, someone wants Rick. this for a souvenir, you know, give me an email. I'll send this to you. I'll also send you this one. Wow, that's pretty fancy. Yeah. The serpentine belt is a pretty easy one to rig up. Going with a, a two loop rig on this unit. See how she does. Serpentine belt's been a fan favorite of my dad for lifting things for at least the past 20 years that I've been working on cars and stuff with him. So he suggested this one. He wanted to put it to the test. So here we are. I like that. He normally just wraps it around the entire engine super ghettoly, but you know, we're all about consistency, so we're using the chain too. See a break here. 
Wow, there's already a strand missing in this. Yeah. Not too bad of a stretch though. Doing all right. There seems to be a pickup in bee activity though. I don't like the looks of that. You're getting wild out here. Okay, let's give her a couple bounces. Oh, she's doing great. Very nice. And that's a pass. What do you think about that one, Ricky? I had a lot of confidence in that. The uh, slit that was in it made me a little less confident, but hey, it passed. Pass is a pass. All right. Let's do this thing. Seat belt, round one. Let's see it. Uh oh. Okay, we're at 15 seconds. Easy. Yep, that's an easy pass. Everything passed. Yeah, round get that one. stuff out of there. So I think we can say we know that the strap is gonna pass round one. We've already tested the strap on the other engine when we pulled the motor out. So I mean, not too concerned with doing that. Yeah, that gets a buy. We'll, yeah. we'll move on to round two for that round. one. Things are about to start getting interesting now, folks. I, uh, not gonna lie, very impressed with how some of this stuff performed. We're going for double the weight though, literally. Probably double plus. Yeah. So. We're gonna come up with a plan for uh, affixing everything to that. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna be the same thing. We're gonna try and pick it up. If it passes, it passes. If it doesn't, the good thing is, that thing's built with the strongest CA Technologies parts you can buy for your machine. You wanna buy some? RRUTVshop.com, head on over there, pick up some parts for your side-by-side, -side. pick up some merch, hats, shirts, stickers, got it all. So we're gonna take a quick break get this stuff figured out. Be back to the action. Okay, we're all fixtured up. So we're going from what we view as the strongest to the weakest this round. So we've got our, uh, we're using two straps just because the length uh, wasn't super ideal of using one. And I wanna lift by two points. So for this one, we're going to be using two straps, one on each side of the roll cage. Going forward, I think we're going to uh, like triangulate the stuff. Maybe we'll use two straps as like a choke and then go to a center point. We'll figure it out, but here's what we're doing for this one. I Take like her it. up, my man. Oh, that sun's coming out too. Oh yeah. Perfect timing. He's up. No big deal. Oh yeah, that swinging's nice. That compass on that boat is in extreme danger. Zoom in on that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna last the whole rest of the day or not. 
Come on, Scott, you stalled her out. You got that 30 seconds started? Starting it right now. What do you think, Ricky? I mean, this is, yeah, this is easy work for those straps. I mean, those things are designed to lift. Like I said, we'll cover the actual rating of those at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. But okay, it's just uh, classic, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Doing what it's supposed to do. Right. All right, we got to be at 30 seconds by now. I mean, uh, yeah, that's 30 seconds. Yeah, that was easy, easy, easy work. Whoa, <laughs> what's this cowboy doing? Oh, he's getting wild. Yeah, on to the, uh, I don't know how to phrase this. Uh, I guess just on to the next thing, which is going to yeah. be what? Seat belt. Seat belt? Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll figure that, figure that seat belt up and yep. pick her up. All right, durability test. Number two for the seat belt. Yeah, this is where I'm starting to get concerned. Uh, I had no, uh, no reservations about the actual lifting straps, but now that we're starting to use some of this junk stuff on my unit here, a little concerned, but hey. gotta do it for the science. It'll be all Take right. Take her up. He's sweating, I can tell. Oh man. Oh man. That's brutal. That is brutal. That's brutal. That's max. Oh, that's maxed. Oh. Yep, timer started. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to pull out of the end of that. I can see it. Yeah, that's probably the weakest spot, the part where it goes through the buckle. Yeah, dude. She's a champ. Oh. <laughs> and the time is up. She passed. I really wow. wanted it to be above the boat, but I mean, what are you going to do? You can't get it all. Yeah. Maybe we can shorten those straps up yeah, on the we, next one. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Somehow. Onto the serpentine. This, I, I, there's literally no way this is going to do it. Dude. No way. I don't know. She's looking pretty strong, my dude. AC, I trust that's that. AC Delco Serpentine Belt for anyone who cares about the brand. I don't know who's making it, but this is what it is. All right, take her up. We'll just keep a tight zoom while uh, she's going up. Oh my gosh. Dude, no big deal. She's walking. She's oh dancing. No. Oh! oh! <laughs> we had our first break. Brutal. She didn't like the shake test, but you know, no. that's what you gotta do, so. Let's see the carnage here. Pretty clean. Yep. We'll uh, send this back to the AC Delco factory for analysis, figure out what went wrong. That's warrantyable, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, standard use. 6K960 if you guys want a part number. First loser of the day. Pile of shame. That was your favorite, too. And don't lift up your X3. Up your <laughs> Engine's fine. Two of them? No big deal. X3? Ooh. Touch too much. <laughs> Touch too much, boys. All right, on to the next one. So, uh, extension cord made it through first round, but she had some losses. We're we're down about probably uh, three foot. Yeah, minimum three foot. I so. think that's that's going to be a big deal. It's it's yeah. There's no big deal, and then there's big deal. And that's a big deal. The loss is a big deal. So, we got to go figure out how we're going to strap this around. I don't know. I mean. It out. Is this even going to get it off the ground at all? If serpentine belt lasted that long, there's literally no way that this is going to 
I mean, even if we put a ton of wrap in this thing, I feel like it ain't happening. Just let that down and then we'll we'll get this figured out. We're gonna try and get as many coils as we can in this thing. She needs we got it. the forks relatively tight together, so yeah. We'll figure it out. See how she goes. All right. We got her wound up. She's taunt. The failures have begun and uh, I think they're gonna continue after after that serpentine belt. Hey, so don't talk like that. Come we've on. got uh, extension cord here. See what she does. Scooter. Should we have straightened the X3 out before we did this? Probably, but no way. She'll straighten out. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. This is bad, bad. Oh. oh. Not even off the ground. Extension cord, loser. That was a little lackluster, not gonna lie. It worked great. It's not. I mean, the extension cord did take a big L that first round, so surprise level. Very low. low. Ready for this? Loser. <laughs> On to Sketchy Rope. Yeah. Okay, Sketchy Rope, he's uh, he's tied up. About to see what he can do. Lot of stretch. Wow. Lot of stretch. Wow. Yeah, lot of stretch. Oh. Okay, it's off the ground. Take him up. How high up are we going We're here? Going Ricky? over the boat. We're going. Oh, over the boat. Bounce test over the boat, though. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Is that it? That's it. Oh, come no. on. I guess I'll start the timer now, then. Okay, the mics might die, hopefully not. Take her up, garden hose, baby. Come on. Come on. Dude. Oh my gosh. Garden hose, let's go! The timer starts now. Dude, I think she's not gonna pass the shake test. Okay, super unfortunate that the mics died. That was hilarious, but was hilarious. here's the result of garden hose. We stressed her a little much. Hang on a second. 2,500 RAM, great exhaust. Anyways, yeah, garden hose did a lot better than I thought. So, I mean, we stressed her pretty hard. I think it went past the 30 seconds. It when, definitely uh, went past the 30 seconds, but I mean, we, we had to see her fall. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, now on to the grand finale, the flex tape. Let's get that rigged up and see what she's got. Do it. All right, we got John up here. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to let him do whatever he wants with this thing as far as how many loops. I think you go with one loop to itself. Dude, I don't think that's going to be enough. I think that's going to be perfect, dude. Right there. Look at this, you didn't even... Come that's on, man. Enough, dude. Oh, that's it? That's it. 
This stuff's supposed to be strong, man. All right, man. You said one piece. I was like literally. Pound I was. Dude? I was literally willing to use an entire roll on each fork. I guess we can still try that if this doesn't do it. So. This is it, dude. That's not. That's not happening. But, no. No way. But. What is this material? This guy, I. Whoops. I will say this is my first time using this. Who is this guy? Paris. That's perfect. We don't know him. Pitch tape. Round one. She's got it, dude. No big deal. I personally would have done a whole roll for each bar. Dude, it doesn't need it. I'm trying to save money. Wow, that's got some stretch. Wow. All right, I was wrong. You're, you guys were right. Send her up, my man. Oh. <laughs> well. That did not work. Okay, so I uh, wasted the first roll of uh, flex tape, unfortunately. We'll see if Ricky has better luck at rigging it up. How's this look right here? That looks great. Wow, that's looking good. Is it the best application? No. Is it the worst application? Also no, because you handled that earlier. <laughs> you got that right. You look like you used to wrap cars for a living or something. Yeah, I'm big big into vinyl, you know? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Good enough for me. All right, boys. How's it going? We got the tape on there, uh, ready to lift it up. Do it. He's starting to stretch. Oh man. Oh man. Dude. Wow. Brutal. Not good. Well guys, we've uh, we've ran through everything we have to test. Moral of the story, the lifting straps, they're meant for lifting. Uh, let me go grab one of those real quick. Why don't you come on over here? Yeah, I'll follow you over. Actually, I thought I had one in here. Someone oh. must have removed it. I'll need to find that because that's uh, my personal one, actually. Actually. Oh, yeah, Let's there we go. Let's take a look at some of these numbers here. So you can obviously use a strap several different ways. These all have ratings on them for how much you know, they're good for to lift. So if you do this vertically, boom, you're just picking something up from that end to this end, just like that. Vertical strength, 1,200 pounds, okay? You do the choker. Don't get too excited, <laughs> one, okay? Like one of these. You do that. That's solid, 950 pounds. And then you want to basket it like that. Ooh, I don't know if you guys are ready for these kind of numbers. 2,400 LBS. Wow. That's 2,400 pounds. So no surprise that these things picked up the X3 with no problem. What's this one? Is this the same? Even or? more. This is the, the style that we use to pick up your engine oh, yeah, out of that. the Eagle. Wow. 4,800. Yep. And 2,400 vertical. You guys think about the, the math behind that. That's probably 
an equivalent uh, to the amount of beef I consume on a monthly basis. So, it's a lot. So, get yourself some lifting straps if you like picking stuff up. Don't suggest using anything else that we tested here. If you do, I didn't tell you to do it. I wouldn't suggest doing it. Just don't do it. Just had a fun time making this video. We've got some other stuff in the background. The boat over there. That's about to get some serious work. We're not giving up on that. A lot of other cool stuff coming. We're doing some more stuff with the X3. What we're always doing, though, is having fun, and that's what counts. So, again, appreciate your guys' support in this matter. See you in a couple days. Rich rules, baby. Rich rules, baby.